Moving on, the Tennessee Titans. That is our, our home state team, I guess. Nine and seven last year, which is pretty good, right? I mean, for all the stuff that they lost and everything else, went, like in the middle of the season, there was a lot of different stuff happening. Still went nine and seven. We're right there on the cusp of a playoff berth. Uh, we like head coach Mike Vrabel. Like to win, a lot. To win the division, they are plus 650. They are in dead last as far as favorites go. Strength of schedule is number seven this year. It's tough. Pretty tough schedule. Turnover margin, they were 21st. They were minus one last year. Uh, Blaine Gabbard had to play a lot, uh, and he did not help that. Um, Over-under is eight this year. Over, juice is plus 110. The under is minus 130. Total yards per play on offense, they were number 23 in the league. Average 5.3 yards per play. On defense, number seven. Average 5.3 yards per play, so dead even there. Offensive coordinator this year is Arthur Smith, son of FedEx CEO, chairman, founder, whatever, um, Fred Fred Smith. Smith. They signed guard Roger Saffold. They signed wide receiver Adam Humphreys. They signed quarterback Ryan Tannehill. They drafted wide receiver A.J. Brown. They've got some talent at receiver. Yes. I mean, just offense in general, they've got players. That's right. True. Defense, they got players. Defensive end Cameron Wake, they signed. They drafted defensive tackle Jeffrey Simmons. He won't play this year, but uh, defense coordinator is Dean Pease. They are a projected favorite in only four games this year. They're an underdog in eight. They're a pick in four games. I like this team. I think that Mariota stays healthy this year. Even when he's not, I think Tannehill comes in. I like Tannehill in Miami. I've got him at nine and seven. He's way better than Blaine Gabbert. Yes. So so when Mariota gets hurt, you just don't yeah. throw the season away. I think they're nine and seven this year. I don't know that that's a playoff team, but nine and seven, I think they stay about the same. Uh, I like this team. I think they're tough. I like Vrabel. I think he makes really good decisions. He understands how to work with the personnel that he's got. And this is a talented team. I, I like, thought I think this team is a lot like the Jaguars when I looked at it. I think they're going to be 8-8. Eight eight. I know 8-8 eight eight is just a cop-out record because um, it's just the way the NFL set up. I think they're actually going to be a little worse than that. I think they're going to struggle because – I have no idea what Smith is going to be like as an OC. I think these things matter. Vrabel's not going to be a lot of help with On the offense. offense. He's yeah. a defensive guy. I think he's a really good head coach. I, I don't – I think they underachieved last year because of offensive coaching. Yeah. I think we took a step backwards being the Titans in coaching well, it took, offensively. It took LaFleur a long time to figure out, oh, wait, we've got Derrick Henry in the backfield. Like, you remember the first six to eight games. Yeah, but if they try to do that for 16 games, Henry will be done by week five. Uh, but here's the thing. They got Deion Lewis. But they got other the guys The problem back is, there. is that's not what helped them do those things last year. Yeah. When Henry went off, Deion Lewis had like four touches in those games. Yeah. It's, a, it's just... You got to find a way to make it all work, and the offense, the offensive coaching staff was not able to do that. I don't year. trust Smith. I'm, I'm going to say this team is a 6-10 and 10 team. Six and, and that ten. hurts me. That hurts me. Well, I mean, the that schedule is me. really difficult. I think um, I think they're below my little science experiment where I did the schedule. I got them four and twelve. I think they're whew. better than that because I think Vrabel Vrabel is going to make this team be better than that. Yeah, and they've got a lot of offensive talent. Yes, the, they do. The problem well, and is a lot of is defensive talent. Like defense is. I'm not. Is, I'm not worried about their defense. That's the problem. Is that that doesn't concern me. I think their defense is going to be one of the. They just got to be able 10 to defense in yeah, the league. You just got to be able to score points. Offensively, they were terrible. Yeah. Can they be not terrible this year? We'll I see. I don't know. We will see. 